So adding a scalloped edge or a wavy edge to the stroke of a shape is a lot easier to do than you might think. And I'm going to show you how to do it in Illustrator. So I have these three shapes that I'm going to use for the example. And the first thing you're going to want to do is select the stroke of your shape. And then you'll come over to your stroke panel. Mine's over here and you'll select a weight. I usually like to start between 40 and 60. So I'm going to select 40 and then I'll toggle these two settings on. And then I'll check this box next to dashed line. And then I want to make sure this number here in dash is set to zero and then gap. I will usually set this number to 10 less than whatever the weight of my stroke is. So in this case, it would be 30. And so far that looks pretty good. I could stick with this and move on to the next one. But personally, I like the center of my shapes to be in the center of a single circle or the center between two circles. So I'm going to go over to my gap and use my up and down key on my keyboard to just play around with the different numbers. So I didn't have to make a huge change. I like that. I like it being in the center of a single circle. So I'll say that that's good. And if you want to apply the same stroke settings to your other shapes without having to do it manually, all you have to do is select these two shapes and then click I on your keyboard. That's the shortcut for the eyedropper tool. And then you want to find the stroke line in the center of these circles and click. And then it will apply the same settings to the other two shapes. Now you might want to make some adjustments. Obviously this rectangle doesn't look great. The corners are kind of funky. So in this case, I would click on my shape and then I'd go back over to my stroke panel and I will toggle between these two settings. So right now this is the one selected. I'm going to click this right one and that fixes it. Now coming over to this circle, it looks like it's centered here, but there's something funky going on here. So I'm going to go back over to this panel and see if this will fix it. And it does, but now it's not centered. So I'm going to play with the gap again. And there we go. Perfect. So these are all good to go. The next thing you need to do is expand all three shapes. So I'll select those, go to object, expand appearance and expand. And then we want to get rid of these centers so that all we're left with is the outside to make that our cut line. So what I like to do is select my shape and then use the direct selection tool, click an anchor point and then hit the backspace button twice. And I'll do the same thing over here. And now those are fills, but we want them to be aligned. So now we'll make them a stroke. And then over here, because we have these corners of the rectangle, we need to unite those circles so that it becomes one. So I'll go to the Pathfinder tool, Unite, and then we'll get rid of this center stroke. And then we can use that same trick where I select this shape, pull out the eyedropper tool, which is I on your keyboard, click, and now that stroke is applied. So now we have our scallop edges, but if we want to make it wavy, there's an extra few steps. So we'll go back to this scallop shape. And if I click that with my selection tool, so the black arrow, and then pull out the direct selection tool, which is A on your keyboard, and it's the white arrow. We're looking for these nodes, and we want this node to be in the corner between each circle of the scallop. But we only have one, so that's a problem. The way to fix this is to go to Pathfinder, Unite, and then all you have to do is just click on one of the nodes and drag it, and now we have a wavy edge. So we can do the same thing over here and I don't see a single node. There we go, unite and drag. And now we have two wavy shapes. Now with the rectangle, it's a little bit different because we have these corners. It's not gonna work quite the same. There's an extra step to get the nodes around the entire shape. So if I pull out the direct selection tool to get those nodes to show, you can see it doesn't always appear in some of these corners and unite doesn't work. The way around this is to go to object, simplify, and then it basically just simplifies these corners, removes all the anchor points, but these ones, but it gives us the nodes in all the spots that we want it. So if we click and drag, now it will apply to the entire shape and that's it. It's that simple. So you can do scallop or you can go a few extra steps more and do the wavy edge. I hope this was helpful.